So, you guys know who Jideon is, and I'm sure you've heard of a little platform known as Twitch. Now, they were both trending yesterday, and the reason is honestly insane. Yesterday, a big controversy came out when there was a Twitch streamer who pretty much live streamed themselves or herself doing the dirty on live stream. She was literally doing a live stream of soft core on Twitch. Only 18% of the people watching this video right now are actually subscribed to the channel. Don't be part of the 81%. Subscribe to the channel. You have nothing to lose. You know what? She got a suspension. It was off the platform. It was super viral though. The original post from Dexter tarot showing the clip of the girl doing the dirty while on live stream right now has 5.3 million views in the first day those are some crazy numbers especially on twitter that's like peak but the reason it became so trendy was because not because it was a fail not because something like this doesn't happen on twitch constantly but because apparently the twitch streamer recorded to jake lucky that it was a quote-unquote drunken accident and it's something that apparently only got her a seven day ban a seven day one week for doing this crazy crap on twitch do you guys remember when twitch was like a more of a male space and it was predominantly male streamers that were you know playing video games i certainly miss those days but now you can have sex on stream and you know what you only get a week suspension i mean and that's the thing in the video clip you can literally see them doing it in the window seal now obviously i can't show the clip because it would de get demonetized but hey maybe if it got me you know banned or suspended maybe it'll only last a week who knows though you know i'm not a woman so you know that's the unfortunate fact of the matter and that's a you know what i didn't want to have to say something like that but twitch is sexist is trending on twitter right now twitch is sexist and i completely agree they play favoritism to women on twitch regardless of what they do you know they're back and reinstated you know they do things against community guidelines and they're super favorited when have you ever heard of a guy doing the dirty on live stream and then only getting a week suspension never i've never heard of it but this girl does it and gets a week suspension and even jake lucky now oh shout out to jake lucky for actually saying stuff like this because usually jake lucky i'd consider him pretty much a white knight but he said she told me it was a drunken accident and ended the stream quickly i think something this stupid warrants a perma ban this is what jake lucky had to say and uh, you know what i think the majority of the internet gets uh, on his side and one of the reasons i I mentioned Jadeon in the beginning is because recently this past year Jadeon was streaming on Twitch he used to stream on Twitch and then he got banned for doing like a quote-unquote hate raid where he pretty much just said that uh you know go into Pokemon's chat you guys I don't know if you guys remember that controversy but he said go into Pokemon's chat and say like stupid crap and he got permanently banned for that he's one of the biggest black creators you know youtube and on the internet right now and twitch they perma banned him for something that honestly i consider pretty small like obviously hate bans are wrong but what he was doing was pretty tame compared to the community guidelines considering that this girl was doing the dirty and only got seven days jadeon tweeted a girl gets f dot 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 on stream and she gets a seven day ban while i'm here still perma banned from twitch twitch is racist and i believe the reason he's saying this is because just that same day he reacted to Corey's video where he's pretty much saying youtube is racist because he was receiving unfair you know um copyright and age restrictions on his videos and twitch shared his experience where he was getting unfairly you know demonetized or or videos taken down on his second channel and he reacted to that and then on the very same day they banned this girl for doing the dirty on twitch for seven days and he's still perma banned so yeah he goes twitch is racist and he also tweeted twitch is sexist and you know what i i i don't know man it's hard to disagree with them now obviously there's plenty of black creators and non-white creators on twitch that are doing more than fine for themselves i mean the 
top streamer yesterday I saw is, uh, jeez, I don't remember the one guy. I just started watching him, but he's a black creator, and he's, like, the fastest growing Twitch content creator, like, of all time. He's at, like, 50,000 subs right now. He's one of the biggest Twitch channels ever, and he's black, so I don't think they're racist per se, but, I mean, it's hard to disagree how Jadeon is feeling, you know, because uh, apparently Speed got banned on Twitch, too. I haven't heard about that, but, it, you know, Aiden Ross said a girl got effed on stream and only got a seven-day ban. What the F, bro? Free speed and Jadeon. This itch... S-H-I-T is not right. And that got almost 100,000 likes. The original call-out tweet from Jadeon is currently sitting at 143,000 likes in 12 hours. These are big numbers for Twitch. And he even said they can't ignore it. Optimus is saying a, lit a woman literally got effed on Twitch and got a 7-day ban. LMAO, you cannot be for real Twitch. Twitch ban. Twitch cannot ignore this is what Jideon is saying. And I completely agree. I mean, they have to reply to something like this. This is wrong behavior. I cannot understand how Twitch thinks it's okay. The, you know what? I, I, I don't know. You know, because she was, she said she was drunk in it and it was a mistake, but you are a grown woman. How do you not know how to not do the dirty on Twitch? I mean, believe it or not, I think the majority of Twitch viewers are probably pretty young. I'd say probably like 30 to 40% of them are underage. And she got a seven day ban for this crap. I mean, I can't say I'm super surprised, especially because Amaranth is still top of recommendations. I don't follow Amaranth. I even muted her streams at one point, and I still log in, and you know what? There she is in my recommendations, doing ASMR streams where she licks the mic in a very inappropriate way, and there's tens of thousands of young boys watching. It's fucking weird, and it's creepy, and it's uncomfortable, and Twitch is allowed to get away with it because it makes them money, and you know what? As long as they're making money money it's uh not a problem but i mean this streamer didn't even look that big now obviously i don't know the streamer's name i don't know enough about him but you know through for the 40 second clip they got like one follow and i think that's a decent indication that they're not super huge so are they really losing out money for you know taking the right action they just uh twitch keeps making problems for themselves and i definitely think that youtube streaming is going to surpass them very shortly youtube gaming and youtube live streaming is doing so much for the live streaming world especially because they're making new growability and things that twitch simply doesn't have but this is one of the things just twitch keeps making problems and youtube has a fair share of problems themselves but you damn well know if they were doing if a girl was getting you know doing the dirty on a youtube live stream i feel like she would be permanently banned at least i'd like to hope to because twitch obviously has a bias towards female streamers and I honestly i don't know why if i had to guess it's probably because people are more favorably to subscribe or donate to female twitch streamers you know because they'll think oh i'll get this girl's attention and uh, they make a, a whole lot more money off you know these kind of streamers than say male streamers but then again it's you know overall i'd say yes but then the top streamer right now is a you know this black guy and he's have like fifty thousand subs and if they split they split sub money like 50 50 sometimes it's a little more favorably but let's just say it's 50 50 for the sake of it that means they're making 25 grand a month just from this guy streamer how much were they making from this girl it cannot be enough for this terrible publicity once again the clip of the stream got 5 million views in it in a day and this is really bad publicity for Twitch. Now that people know she's only getting a seven day ban and everyone knows that's completely unfair, especially because how they treat men and male creators on Twitch. I think they'll change it to something a little more harsh. I don't think it'll be permanent though. Maybe a 30 day ban. That's the most you can expect from Twitch. But as far as I know, Twitch hasn't replied to this yet, even though Gideon says Twitch support can't ignore this and i completely agree with them but let me know what your thoughts are in the comments and i'll see you in the next one